welcome to cooking with ava so this is my plantain recipe and i made some plantain pancakes which is very tasty very nice great for those who want to check their weight great for those who want to just change how they are eating yeah sometimes you eat things the same old boring way and sometimes you want to change things up and i have the baked version where one is stuffed with cheese and the other is also stuffed with just beans yes <laughs> so you need plantain definitely and then i added in onion pepper um, you can add yes i added the ginger the blended ginger and i also added in some beans yes as well for the for the whole stuff and then an egg and plantain so for this there's actually two main ways you can go about it so this is the first style where the first option where i actually used flour in there to work with it so um you just want to have everything in your blender and all you're going to do is to blend this up you don't need water no but make sure you're adding your salt before you forget about it you don't need water you don't need any other thing because plantain has its own um, it's soft enough the best thing that works for this is to have if you're going to use flour, your plantain can be ripe or overly ripe. When it's overly ripe, you realize that the starch is less, but the sugars are more. And so it becomes very, very soft. So for the first one, what I actually did was to add in the beans and then the onions. And then I added in some flour to mix. And like I was saying, if your plantain is ripe or overly ripe, in fact, it's perfect when it's overly ripe. You get that kaklu kind of vibe in the then you can bake it. So for those who um, are not supposed to eat so much oil or for those on diet and stuff, the baking option kind of comes in. And you know these days, if I'm baking, my air fryer is my round two recipe. So I just poured it into my air fryer. This is the silicone for baking cakes, muffins and all those ones. So maybe I should call this plantain cake. What's your take on it? Give me some suggestions in the comment section. So I actually fill this up in the and then all that I had to do then was to what, put it in and allow it to bake using the cake function in there. If you don't have an air fryer, you can also use your descent to bake, which I have it on this channel, your cauldron or your saucepan, you can use it to bake. There are other baking options as well. So do check um, the channel for those as well. And also you can try to also fry it if you don't want to bake. Yes, if you don't want to bake, you can also fry it. And I used the grill pan and I used it in some margarine or some butter, whichever one you want to use. The grill pan, I like it because it helps you get um, very flat and, um, how do I say, very flatly baked um, plantain, fried plantain. And that also helps you reduce less oil if you are using a non-stick. But if you are using a stick, um, how do you call it, aluminium saucepan or a saucepan without a um, coating, you may need to check for your oil so that you have enough around it so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Yeah, so once you fry, make sure you flip for both sides to actually cook. Do this over low heat so that every part cooks perfectly and you still get the browning afterwards. If you do high heat for this, you see the outside looking brown, but the inside won't be well cooked, which you won't really enjoy. So this one, actually, the, the frying option too goes very fast when it comes to time. Just that the baking option gives you that option to also dump the thing in and go and do whatever you have to do without wasting too much time standing there and actually doing the cooking. So I liked the baked um, option, but then um, the thing about it is when, you are, when it's done with the cake function, it's going to be perfect for your air fryer and you don't have so much problem with it. But if you're doing your breakfast and stuff, you can really enjoy this and it's very healthy it's very tasty there's beans in so there's like or how do i say a balanced diet on its own because the plantain is carbohydrate you have beans which is um legumes and other sources of protein you have your onion your pepper your ginger which is all what vegetables and i added in more nuts and seeds as well from the groundnuts which i added to eat it as well so that's a whole balanced diet on its own and so when you're done with the air fryer and you take it out, yes, the top is going to be dried because the heat comes from the top. The dry may look a bit white, but don't forget I used the, the toothpick to really check. The inside was well cooked perfectly. The thing about mixing in with the onions and beans, I realized that, yes, as the onion is going to, the heat is going to like let it jojo or like let it melt in, but the beans is going to be chunky in. As well and I think my onion stripes were a bit too big yes but then that's a personal preference 
depends on how you want it. And this is very soft and very easy and very tasty to do. So if you're checking your diet and stuff, you can go with that option. The next thing I did was to avoid flour completely. What if you are gluten, you know, insensitive or something? So if you have allergies to gluten or you want to really, really reduce your carbs, the best way to go is actually to blend in with your cooked beans and then you just add your plantain and you blend. No flour. This is the no flour type. So the same ingredient, your onion, pepper, ginger, garlic with your plantain, yes. And don't forget to add your salt. That's the most important thing. If you don't add the salt there, by the time you're done blending, you forget. Because I remember for the second one, I actually forgot to add salt. But it was still edible because... Um, there was no added sugar and stuff, so at least there was some balance in there. And I think because I added a bit of cheese in there, it gave me some sort of balance. And my beans was pre-cooked with a bit of salt, so it kind of added in. But don't forget your salt. Put in your salt before you blend. And once you're done, that is all. You pour it into your cake, um, your cake baking, uh, what do you call it, silicone, for your air fryer. And then you are good to go. For this one... What I did was to stuff it with um, cheese for the baked part. Yes, I realized some of them were a bit too much. And so I placed the cheese. You scoop a bit, put the cheese in, and you also would cover it up so that uh, the cheese will be buried inside. So it comes like there's a present or a parcel in. As you eat, you go and meet that present of yours. And this is, like, great. If you don't have the money to afford the cheese or you can't access cheese where you are, I use mozzarella for this, but whichever cheese preference you have, you can go with the flow as well. If you don't have it, you can just leave it. It's not compulsory. Just the baking would always go well. And I like this because this was softer. This was easier to do. This was also more economical because flour sometimes can be a bit costly. And this gives you very soft um, textured um, plantain pancakes as well when you fry it. So like I said, if you can't bake it, you can fry it. Just make sure that when you're frying, you're doing it over low constant heat and most importantly if you have a grill pan use it that is going to really give you a um, good result if you don't have it just use your frying pan as well the quartered version always gives you less oil to use yes but if you're not using the quarter the quartered version is an aluminium frying pan you may need to increase your oil usage so that it doesn't stick to the pan but there's not a deep fry something there's a light fry something and so you realize that it's already very soft than the first one which i use the flour so honestly when i'm doing it these days i do more of the no flour one because don't forget that the cooked beans has carbohydrates in there so the beans itself you see like some beans flour kind of vibes which fortifies it and also adds textures so the rest of the mozzarella actually plays it into one of it and then i use it on the fire for it to also melt and assemble it in very well so yes like i said you bake the plantain cupcakes or the plantain cakes for 170 degrees for 20 minutes which is the cake function on your air fryer and yes some puffed up because i i think i overly filled some of them and so i took it out and that's what the excess is not yet truth be told May and Namere, aha. Uh -huh. So as I was doing, I was eating the excesses. <laughs> ah, so yes, and this is very tasty. This is very nice, and you can store this in your fridge and be eating it in bits. You can freeze it and reuse however you want to store. It will work. Yes. So this is one recipe I really did enjoy, and I take it a lot these days because. These days, I'm trying to actually check my weight. And this is one great way to check your weight. Because for this, because I didn't use overly ripe plantain, the sugar is less, yes. So for this one, if you're going to, I almost forgot. Let me chip in this. If you're going to do this one without the flour, make sure your plantain is ripe and not overly ripe so that you get in that good texture. So if you did like this video and if you do love it, Show some support, show some love. I beg, subscribe right now. I beg, hit the notification button so you get all our notifications. And most importantly, make sure you comment, you like, and share to bless someone else. Till I see you in the next food video, to live life to the fullest. Be joyous, be merry. Lots of love for my team and I. Mwah.